Hello and welcome to Hobby King. I am Stuart and I'm here to give you a, uh, a flight review of a recently released model. This is uh, following on uh, in the 750mm Warbird series. You've seen the previous ones, the Moonbeam X-Wine Mustang and the A1 Sky Raider and the Tempest. And this is the next one. It's just recently released. This is the Hawker Hurricane Mark IIb. Now, the Hurricane itself, as you know, is the workhorse of the RAF and Commonwealth Air Forces during World War II. This is the Mark IIb, which is a later version, cannon armed and with uh, drop tanks as well. Really good for tank busting and stuff like that. This is in a um, European scheme, I believe. And we're here to give you a little follow-up flight review on this model. Now, this does come with the uh, little orange uh, ORX gyro pre-installed, and you'll see that it works very, very well. Also, it comes with uh, fixed landing gear and these drop tanks. Now, what I'm going to do, I'm going to fly on two different batteries, if you can see those there. I've got a 1,000 milliamp hour two cell, and then I've got a 850 milliamp hour three cell. I want to give you a demonstration uh, of, on both two and three. Now, three is great, and I know a lot of you uh, guys and girls will like that, but for my preference, I like things to be a little bit closer to scale. I really, really like it on the 2S, so we'll show that as well. But for the takeoff first, because I am going to take off first from this little strip here, uh, the park we're allowed to fly at locally, um, I'm going to do take off on 3S first, do a few circuits, then land it, and then I'll show you the, uh, the clean flight, as it were, on the, uh, on the 3S with the gear removed, and uh, then we'll bring it into land on its belly and do the 2S flight as well. It's a little bit gray here, and what you can probably see is that that camo is working really, really well. So I've got to fly it quite close, and hopefully you guys will be able to see just how good this is uh, in the air. All right, so the battery's in. I'm just going to quickly uh, show you it taking off and landing from a service on 3S. Then we're going to take the gear off and... Uh, Uh, take the gear off after that and show you it really performing nice and clean on 3S. So here's the takeoff. I have to shout a bit because the camera's a little far, far, uh, far away. I'm going to hold in some up elevator on takeoff, steer with the rudder and steerable tower wheel. Ready? Yes. Away. Now, naturally, I was looking for the gear switch then, but of course, <laughs> this little bird doesn't have it. For you. Here it he comes, gyro's working nicely. Bring it around again. You can really fly in quite a small tight space. That's all on half throttle. And we'll do a quick pass, full power. Really fast, there we go. Now I'm going to bring it to land because I really want to get to the full flight on this. Okay, I'm bringing it around. Now we're going to show you how it really flies, clean, up in the air, hand launch. First of all, the gear, you can see it's a very simple affair, it just pops out like so, and like so. You can see from this little bit of wear here, I've been flying it without the tanks. I'm going to keep the tanks on for now, just because uh, they act as little uh, skid plates when I come into land. And when I launch, I'm going to launch underarm, holding the model on top. And I want to hold just a little bit of right aileron to uh, correct the rotational torque. So if we come over here, we'll get into some clean space and uh, we'll do a nice flight review, show you what it can do, explore its flight envelope on 3S and then we'll switch, switch quickly to the 2S, which I actually prefer. All right, ready? Yes. Okay. We want to launch it about three quarter throttle, I think. All right, here we go. There we go, see how it just turns a little to the left there, that's the rotational torque. Remember it's got a free blade propeller. It does have the rudder, which I like to use. There's the rudder there. How's that looking on camera? Beautiful. Now it's a small little thing and it's a grey sky, so I'm going to try and keep it as close as I can. All right, I'm just cruising now at half throttle. Gyro is working very, very well. All right, I'm going to go full power now. But I've got to take the power off in the turns, otherwise it gets really small really quickly. Oh my god, yeah. hard to follow. Hard to follow. Yeah. Right, let's do a pass along here, you ready? Yes. 
full power. Yeah, it really scoots. Now I'm really banking and yanking here. I'll keep that bank. Now for me, whilst that's bags of power, it's really too much. It doesn't need it. Hopefully you guys can still see it there. And I'm back down to, to half throttle. So let's walk a little bit further forward. I just want to get clear of those trees. And I want to show you guys uh, a little bit of the aerobatics. How are we looking on camera? Yeah, pretty small. All right. <laughs> if you want to come over here a bit more, we'll go to the edge of the water. Hopefully you guys can still hear and see me. All right, how's that looking? Maybe I'll do a low pass to the camera. Wow, wow, this is beautiful, man. Needs a bit of down trim. How are we doing? Uh, I'll bring it in this way. Bit of rudder in the turn. Gyro's working really, really nice. Remember, this is a small model, but look how rock solid it is. Tank busting pass. That's nice. And a stall turn off of there. It does get small quick. There's the stall. It just looks great for me now. Right, full power pass. I'm going to do a loop over the water. I'll do a roll first. Rolling left in low rates. And I'll bring it around and roll in the opposite direction. It is a grey sky here, but this is typically what I know a lot of you will be flying in, so it's good for you to see. Now I'm going to fly, uh, roll right. That's on low rate. Fast rate is ridiculous. I'll show you that. Oh, it's out of focus. It's out of focus. How's it looking now? Uh, it's big, yeah. Okay, this is high rate. Too much, way too much. <laughs> and I know the cameraman's having a hard time here with this small model, but my eyes are getting older, but I can still manage. So there we go, that is, bring it round and we'll do a loop. Bring it over the trees. One, bit of okay. rudder there, oh, trees. All right, let's just do a loop, front and center. Well, it's, I know it's getting small for you guys, but we do what we can. All right, I'm gonna do a loop. Don't even need full throttle at this point. Up, 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 ease off the elevator, bring it round, comes out of that really, really nicely. I will just show you the stall on this. So if you've got it in camera there, bring it up a bit high and just pull up on the elevator and that's the stall, non-existent. I mean, the full-size Hurricane was known for being a pleasure to fly. Uh, but I don't think even, I think even the full size would have stalled much more violently than this. Bring it in for a low close pass. There she goes. Those tanks look really nice. Now what I can do now, I can bring it in and show you it belly landing with those tanks. So I'm going to bring it around into wind and hopefully land right at our feet. Here we go. Bit of power, bit of power and then flare at the last minute. Time for one lap. Boom. And what you can see there is that those tip tanks just took a, a, lot, a bit of the strain on the landing and also stopped the, uh, the prop digging in so much. So what I will do now is put it on 2S and take the tanks off. And uh, as I said, for me, that's really my preference. It's really, really nice on that 2S. Oh, and uh, by the way, the balance point, uh, in case you were wondering, on both packs, um, I like to give a visual guide. If you look at the, the, can uh, the battery hatch there, uh, the trailing edge of the canopy hatch, that's approximately where your CAG is. Just a reference for you guys. All right, let's do 2S. Okay, so this is the 2S, you can see there, excuse the bikes. Um, the battery's in, you have to push it all the way forward, you need an adapter too. It's a little bit tight, but it does all fit in there really quite nicely. You just have to push the adapters down so the, the hatch can shut properly, which that is now. And the tank's just simply, it's just a friction push, they just come off like so. So now, same procedure, but I'll show you uh, the 2S performance. A little bit of up, a little bit of right, and probably a little bit more power on the launch for 2S. There we go. Not as aggressive in the, uh, the rotational torque, which is nice. Now this is the same half throttle, but I really like how that grooves. Now let's just get it trimmed out a bit. Yeah, that's, it flies as good as the other ones, as all the other uh, 750, uh, approximately 750 sized warbirds in this series. The gyro really, really helps. You've got to think that a model of this size, even in some wind, you would have really struggled with uh, without the gyro, but these ORX gyros that are coming exclusively in this model work a treat. Look at that, now it's a pussycat. 
So I'm gonna do a little bit more fast flying. If you go wide, you should be able to keep up with it. Look at the vertical on 2S. Still enough, more than enough. Bring it. That was in high rates on the uh, rudder there. Rudder in the turn. And I'll tell you what, that uh, identification band on the, on the back, that white stru uh, strip, actually really, really helps. And the, uh, the fabric covering, the red that you see on the leading edge, that's a really nice orientation aid, especially when you're coming into the sun. I think I'll do one more pass, low and fast, and then bring it in for a landing. Look how steady it is. That's, that's more than enough speed on 2S. Yeah, if you've got 3S, great, it will do it lovely. But on 2S, look, it's great. This is the high C pack, of course. I'm going to roll off the top here and then bring it round. But these are available and they're cheap and they work really, really well. Look at that lovely against the water. Hopefully you guys can see that there. How are we looking on camera? All right? Yeah, all right. All right, yeah. We don't always have those bright sunny days, but it shows you more of what we're used to flying in, typically, in the Northern Hemisphere. Here we come into land. We just feed a little bit of power, and steady the wing, flare, 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 and then flare. If you stall into it like that, it stops uh, so much force on the propeller, and it just belly flops down. So let's walk over, I've got the sail checker, and we'll just see how much is left in the pack. Let's have a look. Take that out now. And we'll slide the battery Telemetry out. Lost. Slide it all the way forwards and then all the way back. A little bit warm. And let's see what we got here. Can you see that? You focused? All right, that's 40%. And that was oh, a good five minute flying time I, by my estimation. So on the 1000 milliamp hour two cell, this is absolutely the pack I recommend. And for all of these 750 models, in fact, you would get a good eight minutes, I think, on this. And uh, it's especially fun when there's a bit more light to be seen. But um, as you can see, it still flies very, very well. The gyro is doing its job brilliantly. There is a bit of wind. And for a small model like this, you can't get more bang for buck, in my opinion. So check it out. It's on the website now. Link below uh, this video to the product description. And uh, you'll see it there with some recommended batteries as well. There is 3S and there is 2S. I recommend the high seat 2S, really, really nice. So check it out on the website and the others in the range and look out for more coming in this series at some point soon, I understand. Thank you very much for watching. Please like and comment below. We always uh, like to see those comments and uh, you can also follow us on Instagram and Twitter and Facebook and some other social platforms too. So thank you for this, thank you for watching and I'll see you for another flight review at some point soon. Bye.